<laughs> Welcome back. Our next guest is a Dublin native, oh, known for chatting and messing, but also <laughs> mixing traditional Irish folk with contemporary lyrics. And last year, he released his seventh studio album after an astonishing... 17 years on the music scene. And singer-songwriter Damien Dempsey joins us now. We were just chatting about the DI, the old Donna Me Then. Donna Me Then, yep. That's yep. guaranteed you free scoops in there now when you go in. <laughs> <laughs> the DI. They, 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 they do a great uh, draw on a Sunday, it's uh, They do. They get free, a free draw, free tickets are handed yeah. out and the uh, first yeah. prize is 10 points. It's 10 points. <laughs> <laughs> Second prize is 20. Because <laughs> we, we were just discovering that we're from the same neck same of the woods. Neck of woods. Yeah. From DNS, from, from the north. Yeah. And you still live in Donnemead, where you grew up. I do indeed, Demo, yeah. Which is yeah. very important to you, isn't it? Ah, uh, it's a good community there, you know? Yeah. yeah. So we're talking about your gig, which was described last year in the Ivy Gardens, uh, Damien, as epic. So no pressure or anything, yeah. but the 14th of July you are playing the Ivy Gardens and what a backdrop that is. Oh, it's incredible. It's surrounded by big oak trees, you know, and it's kind of down in an old boating lake. It was a, the Guinnesses, I think, the Ivy's, uh, the Lord, Lord Ivy on that boating lake, but they drained the lake, so now it's, it's a lake of song now, yeah. I call it. It's amazing, isn't it? You were saying to 4,000 people, like, that is some, that must be some sensation to stand there. Mm. and have those song lyrics come back at you in waves. That's incredible. Just the unity you feel, you know, and uh, when everybody sings in unison, a magical thing happens. I don't yeah, know what yeah. it is. It's, it's like primal or something. Well, it's spiritual almost, isn't spiritual, it? Spiritual, definitely, absolutely. And is that, because we've had, you know, many singer-songwriters on, we've often asked the question, did they feel more at home in the studio or on stage? Most of them will say the stage, and that, that yeah. is true, isn't it? Uh, it's, I'd, I'd be high for three days after it, like just on a natural high, you know, just buzzing. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, people walk out the, the gate and they go down, all, they're singing all the way down Grattan Street to the Liffey and they're singing all the way up Camden Street to the canal, you know? It's brilliant, isn't it? But I think it's fair to say, Damo, I think your gigs are probably more interactive than the average gig. The, the yeah. crowd, the audience are very much a part of the show, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. And, and you interact with them and it's a very kind of emotional experience, isn't it? Oh, yeah, you see lots of people crying in the show and that, you know? As well as yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. You get invested in it, don't He's you? He's so uh, invested, yeah. which is so lovely because it's so authentic, isn't it? Ah, uh, yeah. It's 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 my own songs. I'm not. I'm not. I was never in it for the to get famous or yeah, you know, to make loads of money. It was it was sort of healing for me. Yes. The music always was, and that the, that really hits people, and they come up and tell me. That song saved me life, or that album saved me life, going through a really dark and time. And you have heard those stories because oh, I've, I, I've heard time. you talking about that before. All the time. That people will say, "I was, you know." At, a, at the closest stage to doing something very drastic. You have to be careful of younger mm. ears tuning sure. in this morning, but yeah. in tragic circumstances. And yeah. the words in a song of yours would have saved their life. Absolutely, yeah, it happens all the time. So that that gives me hope, you know. Oh and, uh, how do you go about putting putting the set together? Like, because you did the Ivy Gardens before and you're doing it again. Do, mm. you, do you change it up? Do you, do you say, well, I have to put in, you know, the classics, the X, Y, yeah. the Zs. How, yeah. Or does it just... Is it organic at all, Damien? No, we have to... The set's very important, you know? Yeah, yeah. You can lose them if you put in the wrong song in the wrong place. And do you, do, is that a collaborative thing with the band, or was it? what, what way do you do it? Is it just...? Yeah, me and uh, the drummer now, John Reynolds, who's my producer as well, we'll, yeah. we'll sit down and go through the set and uh, then ask maybe the, the flute player, Eamon, the bird, we'll ask him what he thinks, and we'll go through it thoroughly, you know? Yeah. And uh, maybe if you're... You could be in the middle of it and say, "Change no, that song's not gonna." You feel, you feel on stage. It's not gonna because it's, it's that gonna dip here. You know, if you do that song, mm. and it's that because you because you don't know what it's gonna be like in terms of the crowd. You know, they're all there to see, and they're all on your side. But mm. every night must be different. It's the same as yeah. performing in theatre. Every audience is different. It makes every the show audience. different. Yeah, it's it's you have to be sort. But of you a, can change the show then. Yeah, you, you have to be intuitive, don't you? You have to sort of read, yeah, you have read, to read the, the audience and read. You feel it, I suppose. You know, but you have to have you know. The parts where you're, they're all going crazy singing, and then yeah. the parts where you bring it down and you have them almost crying. Yes, yeah. and it is. It's kind of a roller coaster of emotions. Yeah. But you yeah. leave them on a high, a very natural oh, high yeah. that they're on for days afterwards. Yeah, because there's, there's, that's a hope and positivity. Even though the song can be dark, and uh, you know, can bring you to places maybe you don't like to be in for too long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll do a song afterwards and and lift you again. Boom. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Did you ever think you'd be at the stage where you'd done seven studio albums? When you set out, like, when you started writing first, putting music and lyrics together, did you ever think, Jesus, I have seven studio albums? 
I was always just focused. I, I knew it. This was the only thing I ever wanted to do, you yeah. know. And I'd, uh, I'd pay to do this, you know. Yeah. If I wasn't getting paid, I'd pay to do it. And what's your process like in terms of songwriting? Do, do you get up in the middle of the night if an idea hits you, or is it something like maybe you might see in the He's papers? He's busy doing or? the yoga in the middle of the night. Yeah, he does his yoga. He's all yoga down there. Naked yoga. Naked yeah. yoga. Yeah. 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 In the back garden, done a mead. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. But where does it where does an idea form, and how does it how does it tra translate itself into a finished song well, then? Yeah, I'll have me a little dictaphone, little simple thing, and uh, a notebook. I'm just. Walk around the city like a two-legged camera, you know. And lyrics first. In, you know, you're lyrics always first. peeled. Do you go lyrics first, or do you have a melody, or what way does it work? I just always take down notes. You know, incredible. Isn't it? Sometimes you just do a stream of consciousness, you know, about yeah. a subject. I'm writing a song now at the moment about uh, uh, there's, there's tens of thousands of people across the land are suffering now needlessly, you know, because uh, they can't get medical marijuana. Yeah. Yes. And that should be really. That should be really legalized. It's legalized in 29 states. Of the US, you know, and yeah. in Washington DC, it's legal. Yeah, yeah. Medical marijuana, you know. And there's some very powerful case studies, actually, because oh. I know you, you're campaigning for it um, yeah. Yeah. in terms of how it's changed the quality yeah. of children's lives yeah. in many cases, well, Damien. Absolutely, yeah. There's, uh, there's little uh, Ava Birdie, you know, Verda Toomey's yeah. daughter down the Cork, yes. and sh she'd be passed now, she'd be gone. Yeah. If, uh, if Verda hadn't, hadn't have, uh, fought for her, you know, yeah. the way she did, like a warrior. Yeah, and you too, supporting the campaign because it's your profile that brings these stories yeah. to the forefront for the media as well, you Absolute, know? Absolutely, yeah. My mother has fibromyalgia, a very painful uh, condition, you know, where your muscles all spasm. And yeah. So uh, she, she, could, she really needs uh, that. And uh, for MS and uh, Alzheimer's, dementia, there's so many things. Uh, yeah. uh, there's, there, there's a range of things that it helps, you know. But that comes into, this, you know, but that's in your stream of consciousness, then you turn into a song. Yeah, I'll, I'll turn it into a song now and then. Listen, if, if people want tickets for the gig, where do they go? How do they get them? Um, Damo has an Iranian about Damo has stuff. a Scooby-Doo. He's arrived at a point where he doesn't need to yeah, worry about uh, those details. Yeah, he has people <laughs> that worry about those things. If you want him. tickets to the gig, you'll get them. <laughs> we'll, we'll pop up the details on our website. How Brilliant. about that? Thanks very much. What and about listen. political future with all the statements that you're making, Damien? Would you consider a career in politics? Um, it wouldn't be for me, no. 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 In a nutshell, no. No, no. Yeah. Listen, enjoy the free scoops and the DI. I will indeed. <laughs> I've been that draw. Yeah, you will. Yeah, we'll share them. <laughs> Thanks a million, Thanks Dan. Thanks a lot, buddy.